Hey everyone, Christian here, and I wanted to do a vlog that I'm not sure if I've done before. If I have, it was quite a while, but I found a good example of this, and I, there were some requests to distinguish the difference between a sable palmetto and a Chinese fan palm. So we have sable palmetto and Libisona chinensis for those who want to get into the scientific aspect. But because this will probably be viewed by mostly people just interested in knowing the differences between two relatively common palms, I'm going to use the common names. So here I'm at this apartment complex and they have planted quite a bit of Chinese fan palms and they have quite a bit of what is probably existing sable palmettos. Now something I want to point out that is interesting is you can see here in the trunks, it looks like they were strangled like three quarters of the way up. Now th not all of them are doing that, there's a couple over here that have that bulge going on there. And so they, uh, the reason that this most likely is, is these were existing wild uh, specimens on the property when this was built, probably sometime in the 80s. And after that, they were watered and fertilized. You can see there's sprinkler heads right there. They may or may not have been fertilized, but they definitely have been getting more supplemental water because there's other um, exotic plants, meaning non-native plants growing here. So they definitely added that. And as a result, they actually fattened up. And so that's the native look and that is the cultivated look. So anyway, want to get into the, the differences between the two. Now, in this, uh, there are some bigger specimens in the, of uh, Chinese fan in the shade, but I want to show some in the sun, and then I'll show you the, the ones in the shade just to give you a little uh, perspective because the ones in the shade do look nicer. So here we have a small palmetto, and here we have a, it's, it's small, but it actually is a, probably an older uh, Chinese fan palm. So start with the palmetto. Now, with the palmetto, you'll notice the first thing off the bat is that these leaves are not very, are not glossy. They're pretty flat, flat green color. They have this filament going on. Um, this is normally coming out right where the segmentation is on the palm on the costa palmate uh, frond. So costa palmate meaning like a folded fan. Uh, costa meaning like I believe I forget if costa is against or together, um, but it means that the fronds, the, the palmate frond, which means like a, the fan palm part of it is folded together or pushed in. Now, Bismarck's do this as well. You may not notice this on a palmetto. You may just notice it's a fan palm, and it is a fan palm, but it is a costa palmate fan palm. So it's quite distinct on here. It's actually, you can see it looks like it's like a praying hand. They're folding over each other. Now, so their costa palmation is uh, different levels of different levels of it this is uh fairly extreme and palmettos are known for that so you have the flat green color you have the filament this little stringy stuff that's kind of growing out around the segmentation it's actually growing right off see so where this oh, a lot of mosquitoes out this morning right where that uh separation is the segmentation look for that see it's right there too so if we walk over now the the trunks here this is the palmetto trunk and this is the Chinese fan palm trunk. You can see they have, they kind of have that quirky appearance to them. They kind of have that same kind of wariness. Now this is a little bit more fibrous. You can see the fibers. This is a little bit older too, but ah, I just gave myself a splinter on that. Um, but the Chinese fan trunk, they'll, they're, they're both gonna split when they get older like this. That's, real, that's perfectly normal. But if you look at the bases here, the palmetto does not flare at all. And I don't, you'll rarely see a palmetto flare. If it does, it's gonna create a root box like this. And that is not part of the trunk. It's actually just part of the root system. But the Chinese fan palm does flare. You can see it grows out and this widest point is actually where it uh, is planted into the ground. So as we go up into the Chinese fan, you can see that now when these get old, when these are younger, they have armament. They have definitely very pronounced thorns, but when they get older, you can see there's actually very little armament on them. It's right near the base of the petiole, and it tends to go away completely as it gets older. Now this, this palm is actually not that healthy. You can tell that because of the way that these petioles are arched. It's that they're a little bit pendant. This should be a little bit stronger. This would be arching if this were a much longer palm, but because this is in full sun, it should be uh, much more upright and it's not. So it like, makes me believe that there's probably some issue and it's probably gonna be with drainage of things actually getting too much water or water is standing. 
um, in this area, regardless of the fact that it's mounted. It just has poor soil. So if you look at the Chinese fan, now you can see straight up to the hastula here, which is the base of the, where the, or the petiole terminates and the frond begins and a palm a palm. Um, and where the palmetto looked like it was praying, this one is just kind of folded. So there's also a deeper segmentation. There's multiple levels of segmentations. Uh, there's kind of this medium segmentation here. There's a deep one on each side, almost like they're folded. And then in the base, there's another deep segmentation. So there's, uh, it's, it's, it's symmetrically se segmented, but it is not segmented as deeply in all areas. So uh, that is one telltale sign. You can see the palmetto is pretty uh, regularly segmented across there, all at that same point. You can kind of draw a line there where you can't do that with the Chinese fan palm. Now, the Chinese fan is going to have a much glossier leaflet. In the sun, you cannot notice that nearly as well. I'm going to see if I can find a specimen in the shade. We'll walk back over. Um, but the now both of them obviously have pendant uh, pen, pendant terminal leaflets there on the but the palmetto is going to be much more um, pronounced usually in the shade the the uh, Chinese fan palm will be more pronounced in the sun now this may not be that interesting to you but if you're looking for like the real distinct differences between the two the Chinese fan palm is going to have a more reddish brown fiber where the palmetto is going to have a more tan beige color. Now that's in the sun, it's actually probably hard to see, but if you look here, the fibers there are gonna be much uh, it, you know, much lighter in color, where most Livestoners actually have a darker reddish color. So if we walk over here, I'm gonna go into a shade grown situation. Generally speaking, they do grow about the same length. Now, now these, the thing about Chinese fans is that when they're in the shade, they actually prefer about half shade. Um, their fronds become so much nicer looking. And where palmettos, you, you know, they'll look good in shade or some, but they, you know, the Chinese fans really prefer some shade. Uh, and you can see the, it's a much larger leaflet. It's a much glossier leaflet. It has a little bit of shine to it. It's not extremely glossy, but it's fairly glossy. It's like a semi-gloss. And in the shade as well, you can see the armament. And that's, you'll never find that on a palmetto. There are no arm sables. So if you see that, you know you're looking at a Livestona. The fibers are definitely uh, much more thicker and pronounced there. So uh, let's see what else we can find. So these are kind of growing side by side. This is a ju juvenile palmetto. This is a juvenile uh, Chinese fan. And you can see there's a little bit of uh, a silvery color at the base of the petiole there. and. Uh, very importantly, you can see the base of the petiole is split, and that happens in other palms like Bismarck's, and Livestonus do not have that at all. You can see the base of the petiole is not split there. So there's a lot of differences. Although they're visually similar, the, the fronds can look very similar. They have many differences that if you go up close, you can, you can say for sure 100%, hey, this is a palmetto, or hey, this is a Livestonus chinensis, or Chinese fan palm. So... Both are beautiful plants. They're planted quite a bit in Florida. Um, you know, they're cold hardy. Uh, palmettos are obviously more cold hardy than Chinese fans, but Chinese fans do look a little more tropical and they're given that tropical look in areas like zone nine and even eight B where uh, other tropical uh, palms will not, will not grow. So they definitely have a place in, um, in the landscape in Florida. The seeds of uh, Chinese fan palm are going to be, I believe they describe them as globulose. Uh, it's like an oval, oval color, oval, I'm sorry, oval shape, almost a lavender color. So I'm going to get away from this one motor for it. I, something, you know, you won't be able to hear me. Um, where the palmetto has a very basic little tiny brown uh, spherical shape. So these are more Chinese fans here. These aren't looking that good. I think they actually just, they're just getting too much water. Um, they do enjoy water, but I just think there's something going on where there's standing water. These, these are some nicer ones here. You can see how pendant the leaflets are in the shade, but that does not happen in the sun. With palmettos, they tend to also have that pendant um, terminal part of their leaflet, but 
uh, the it's definitely much more pronounced and much more graceful in the Chinese fan poem. So anyway, that is going to be it for this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Did give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and like watching tropical plant vlogs, especially palms, consider subscribing, hitting that bell notification. Uh, I definitely go live a decent amount. If you have any questions about the differences between these two palms, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will get back to it as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.